So you look around me right now and you would think, wow, look at the amount of feed that's over there. This is actually African love grass. Now, this is one of those reasons why when you come into Australia and you fill out those documents and you've been to um, farming country or agriculture, this is what we want to keep out. It's shocking, shocking stuff. So it grows over a metre tall and just takes over, as you can see, all this country here is now just all African love grass. Um, there's a few other things that are growing here. Um, inedible to stock, by the way, absolutely inedible to stock. Uh, and also, when it um, gets about this stage, just coming into summer, it becomes like uh, this gaseous fireball and um, so terrible, terrible stuff. But anyway, we're stuck with it, so the only thing you can do is, is mow it. Other things that we've got here is um, Maine's Pest down here. Uh, pretty little flower. The funny thing is in Victoria, you can actually get that as, as an ornamental plant. But here it's quite the pest. This sucker here is shocking. It's Keltrop or Double G's. Whenever you see that, that's the one that you want to kill. He has got the most vicious bloody burr. It, um, they're called cat heads and uh, double G's and um, these little heads that stick up, doesn't matter which angle, there's all these little barbs and they go straight through your feet and my God, they kill. We've got some um, wild sunflowers, that's what all this country used to be, was wild sunflowers. Now you can see it's just completely been taken over by this African love grass. Shocking stuff, nothing can eat it. It's one of the reasons why you should always declare if you've got any plant life on, your, um, on yourself when you're coming through and make sure Always clean your boots and clean your socks when you go backpacking throughout the world because 99% of all the grasses that you see behind me, they've all come in as invasive species. There's, um, looking on the ground right now, there is nothing that I can see that is native, which kind of sucks. And everything that you can see down here has got no use whatsoever to uh, livestock and to native animals. All it is is just a bushfire waiting to happen, which kind of sucks.